Hey, good morning to the Monday morning inspiration for the joy of creation and the magic of art, creativity and play. I'm Bettina Medini. I'm your host here on the Monday morning inspiration. And it's my great joy um, to, you know, contribute to you, inspire you. And what can you create that you thought was impossible? or maybe you decided was difficult and um, like an endeavor and what if it isn't. So these Monday morning inspirations are designed for me to have a cup of tea. <laughs> chin chin to green tea, let me have a sip. <laughs> and for you and for all of us to, to step into creating way greater than you all thought was possible. So this morning, let me just check. Yeah, we are recording. This morning we are going to talk about, um, are you the choosing one or the chosen one? And how much have you all tried to be the chosen one? <laughs> I was just um, um, chatting with some artists and, um, so so they had a lot of questions about well how do you get agents and dealers to sell your art and represent you and really do a fabulous job of talking about your art and how many of you out there are waiting to be discovered are waiting for this agent this dealer this art gallery to get your art out and like that energy of being discovered. So, so everywhere you have been waiting for being the chosen one and you got all frustrated about this not showing up or whatever, are you willing to let this all go? Being the chosen one, do you get it? How there's also only one or a few maybe? And so how much competition have you been doing or giving up or saying oh i don't do competition which is also competition it's like this do you see how you are in <clears throat> this polarity of struggling and fighting um to become the chosen one and then what <laughs> so everything that is bringing up for all you guys will you please let this go what if you are actually the choosing one? Do you get the difference? Do you have questions? Like if you could get anything out of this Monday morning inspiration, what would that be? How can I, how can I contribute to you? You know, what is this actually? So when we are the choosing ones, like just for a moment, get the energy um being the chosen one like the highlander <laughs> or nemo <laughs> in the matrix being the chosen one or harry potter <laughs> and who else like get the energy of being the chosen one and then get for a moment get the energy of being the choosing one. Which one is lighter and has more space? Which one is more joyful to you? So when you are the, ch the chosen one <clears throat> and you sit somewhere on the wall as a wallflower, how much do you wait for being chosen? What does this all entail? Do you get it? And so in this reality, they tell you, you must do blah, 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 blah. You must do this and that and this and that to be the chosen one. And is this working for you? Is this fun for you? If it is, then that's cool. And if it isn't, what else? So let me see whether there is a question here. You can post a question in the chat. Okay. Um, if you are the choosing one, which personally I prefer, <laughs> do you get that 
the difference of that. You are the choosing one. So who is in charge? Who is also creating your business? Who is creating your life? We can talk about this like, you know, on the big type creation scale, or we can bring it into the art world, whatever you would like. But with everything, what if you are really the choosing one? You choose. It's you who, cho who chooses. The energy is totally different. You are actually active. It's you who is choosing. You are the choosing one. Are you also the one who is asking the questions? Like asking a question will always bring you back into action. Whereas when you are sitting there somewhere in your home or in your business or um, whatever, in your art fair tent, and you sit in the space of being the chosen one, what, what is the energy of that? What is the space of that? If you think you must be the chosen one, it is, it is rather passive. You are waiting for someone to show up and choose you. Is this ever going to happen? First of all, if you have not chosen you yet, if you have not chosen to, to you know, to have your own back, nobody else will. So everywhere you have not been willing to have your own back, but you wait for somebody else to do it all for you, <laughs> is now the time to give it up. You can keep it, but if you want to give it up, you can give it up now. Behind me, there's a new painting that I just started yesterday. Sort of, again, came out of the blue. I was like, oh, I just, before going to yoga, well, I just quickly throw some paints on the canvas and just get it started. There was some energy where I was just like, oh, let's throw something out, which is also the, the choice that is creating. So once I had just like, like a first thing out there, I relaxed. Um, and then I went to my yoga class and at 9.30 at night, then I, I painted some more, which means I didn't get a whole lot of sleep, but it's like, how much sleep do we actually need? What if we don't need eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours each night? <laughs> but the, the, the joy of creating something is just such a beautiful fuel and so I, I chose to paint um, until pretty late. And so now I'm here with you guys. What questions do you have? What can I contribute? Like, what's it going to take to be the choosing one? What, like, how do you even get there, right? What, like, so if you were the choosing one, what choice would you have? If you were the choosing one, what questions could you ask? Where could you go? Could that, just the choice of that, like I'm just choosing it. I'm choosing to be the choosing one. Like, does this change anything already in your universe? When you are in your art fair tent and you just for a moment ask this question, wow, if I was the choosing one, what options would I have right now? What choices? would be available to me and so choose it and then see what it creates for you it is really actually that simple and then just notice also whether your body relaxes when you wait on the side when you wait in your business you sit in your business and you wait for somebody a client to show up or a customer to come in it's one energy and how does your body like it, right? Whereas when you come from this whole different space of being the choosing one, I'm the choosing one today. What grand adventures can I have? How much fun can I have today with being the choosing one? It is an active, it is an active space that you will be. You are the choosing one. You don't wait for anybody, but you are the choosing one. You choose, and then you see what your choice will create. You will be aware, and then you choose again. You can change on a whim 
rather than even when you have a tent, like sometimes for me when I'm in an art fair and I'm there for an entire day, I have to make sure that I keep myself entertained. I'm not good at sitting still or like growing hmm, too many roots. <laughs> like my, my tent gets roots. Oh, I, I have a new tent. <laughs> Very fancy, beautiful tent. Oh, that's a different story. Mm. Am I the choosing one or what? <laughs> so everywhere you, you are like making it difficult to be the choosing one. But you give that up. And see the way it will show up for you, the way it will be for you will be different than how it shows up for somebody else. But it's a space that you can choose to be with everything. Wow, if I was the choosing one today, what would that create for me, for my body? Is your body right now even relaxing? When you, when you are in the more passive space of being the chosen one, you must also be chosen because you are the chosen one. And if you are not chosen, then what? What are you then? So how much force must you use in order to be the chosen one? Is there ease in being the chosen one? Is there space? Is there joy? Is there flow? Is there lightness? And the same for being the choosing one. Is there ease? Is there joy? Is there lightness? you are the choosing one, do you have to wait for anything to show up? If you are the choosing one, do you have to use force? So what questions do you have? I don't just want to talk to myself, you know. I could go anywhere with this. So what's coming up for you? So are you willing to choose to be the choosing one? What is this all bringing up for you? So everywhere you go to the how, how, how to, to even choose that, how to be that, are you willing to give up the how? How is actually not getting you anywhere? It is simply the choice. Are you willing to just say, wow, I'm choosing it. I have no idea about the how, yet I'm choosing to be the choosing one. I am the choosing one. How much are, are you actually, or have you always been the choosing one, but you hid it behind something else? <laughs> or another good one is, so have you given your choice away to others? Like if you are the chosen one, who is actually choosing? Are you choosing or do you wait for somebody else to choose for you? Like years ago, I was almost giving up my art because I had waited to be sort of discovered by somebody who would um, like help me sell um, my paintings, distribute them. And like I've been waiting for like an art dealer, an agent, to to do that for me and and while it would be nice to to have more of these um, contributors in my life and in my business i i sort of gave that position up of being the chosen one i had i i was in that position so i had given away my choice can you see how this works when you are the chosen one you wait for somebody else to choose you, but you don't choose you. So are you all willing to choose you? I'm choosing me today. I'm actually, I'm choosing me. And, and just that, do you get a giggle now? Do you get a smile on your face? Is your body relaxing? So are you all willing to choose you and be there for you? Have your own back and keep creating, keep, whatever you are creating, whatever you are joyful about, and whatever started you, whatever made you choose to be an artist, be a creator, 
be an entrepreneur, be a father or a mother or whatever, whatever you chose that, you know, the moment you chose it and it was so joyful, well, this is what I'm going to do. Yay. This is awesome. That space, nurture it, feed it. All right. And how can you feed it? What would it be for you? How could you nurture this space? Like for me yesterday, it was going to the yoga class. It changed a lot of the energies that were funking around, really a funk in my universe. So it changed, the breathing changed it. Maybe you want to go out in nature, go on a walk, or just go outside and breathe long inhales, exhales, and ask a question. What could inspire me today? What would, what would nurture this, this space that I was when I chose my art? when I chose my business, when I chose to whatever was so joyful. So where did it go, that joy? Did you lose it or did you come to a conclusion? So what if we never conclude anything, but we keep asking questions? Now what can I create? What would be fun? Yesterday I threw the paints down and actually this is acrylic paint and then my intention was to paint over with oils. And then I didn't because the, the flow was so beautiful and the acrylics were just so amazing. It's like the moment, right? It's, it's the moment where you notice, wow, actually this is pretty cool what the paints are doing right now. So do you think that paints will always do the same thing? They don't. And don't ask me why that is. I have no clue. I have no answer. It's chemistry. It's the, 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 the air temperature, is it dry, is it humid? Paints are different as the voice is different every single day. So nothing ever works the same. So everywhere you have concluded that if you just do the same thing over and over and over, you will get to where you want to get to, but you don't. And then you wait and then it doesn't show up and you wait some more. And so are you willing to change that? Do something different. Ask a question. What question can you ask today that will bring you the joy of creation right away? <laughs> now and in the future. And everything that doesn't allow that, are you willing to give it up? Melt it, you know, throw it out of your life and your creation universe. Yes? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Do you have any questions? Good. So keep creating. This was the Monday morning inspiration. I'm so grateful you were here. I hope it's a contribution to you. Let me know, make a comment or ask a question. What question could you ask? Like I take questions into future creations also. And so what would you like me to talk about? All right. Have fun and have a great week. I see you next Monday morning. Thank you so much for being here. Also check out my workshops. I have workshops coming up very soon. Bye. Keep creating.